Hi everyone, welcome to Zynod's NEET PG 2022 information series. The All India Round 1 results have been published and uh, the joining, uh, uh, you'll be able to join the seats uh, till October 7th, 5 p.m. Uh, always, uh, we always suggest that you be there at least a day before. Last minute glitches may be there in the portal and uh, institute may not be able to log in because of their glitches, etc. So uh, be ensure that you get your confirmation at least a few hours before the deadline, at least by 7th morning or 7th afternoon. Uh, check with the nodal officer on how many days it takes for admission, if they are available on the last day, etc. before you travel. And uh, more importantly, in fact, the most important thing about the entire admission is this admission letter that you get. Only after you get this admission letter, your admission is confirmed. Basically, the institute has to enter the details in intra MCC portal, your details, your confirmation, your willingness for upgradation, your certificate validations, etc. All those confirmations are entered into the portal and submitted in intra MCC. And only then the MCC system will know that you have been admitted. If the institute gives you a letter that is written, uh, by, written by hand or a letter that is generated in their letterhead, uh, uh, that is not confirmation. This letter alone is confirmation. The letter will say NEPG counseling 2022 and in a similar format. And it will also say your willingness for upgradation for the next round. It will have all the details of your admission and the time, line, time at which the letter was generated. Without this, don't leave the institute. Even if the institute tells you that they will send it across through email, they'll give it to you at a later point in time. The person is not available input uh, for input. Uh, we will do it tomorrow. You be there, ensure that the person does it and you get this letter. Uh, many institutes mention that they know the process better than you. If they know the process, they are supposed to provide you this letter and they would know that that is the end of admission and they will uh, so tell them that this has been notified by MCC. Show them the message that you have got from MCC or show tell them that MCC has clearly intimated us to ask you to get, give us this letter. So uh, with this, uh, there is another confusion that was also happening on All India Round 1 resignation. Uh, MCC has been mentioning over call center responses that All India Round 1 resignation is not possible. And some uh, over the last two days, there's been some confusion. And then once again, they have started mentioning that it is not possible. Please wait for MCC's notification. If you are planning to resign your All India Round 1 seat uh, for state Round 1 seat or for whatever reasons you are planning to uh, resign your All India Round 1 seat, please wait for confirmation or a notification from MCC over the next two days. We expect that by Tuesday, which, which is October 4th uh, uh, evening, at least there should be some notification from MCC. Wait for that. So with these two, we'll get into an important feature that uh, we have come up with uh, as far as uh, uh, our Zynerd website is concerned. Uh, this is an uh, this is a uh, very uh, useful feature in our opinion for managing your decisions throughout the entire counseling process. This was not part of the listed features that we had mentioned uh, in the plan. The last year's candidates, whoever was uh, had had uh, taken a Zynard subscri subscription, would know that uh, this is some feature that would have helped them in taking decisions, especially during Raw India Round Two. Now, this is a new tab that you would see called Allotment Mapping. On clicking on allotment mapping, you will be seeing the screen which will give you information on a counseling, the list of candidates allotted in the counseling and where all those candidates have been allotted. For instance, currently there are two counseling results that have been published, All India Counseling and Kerala PG Medical Counseling. Let's say you are a candidate who is looking at All India PG Medical Counseling and you have a few candidates who above you who have taken your preferred seats. Now you can select All India PG Medical Counseling because that is a counseling that you are interested in at this point. You can click on go. On the left side of the pane, you will have the entire list of allotments of All India of round one. So this contains uh, right from starting from rank 12, you will have the complete list of allotments of candidates who have been, a list of uh, candidates who have been allotted in All India round one, which is 20,983 allotments as of now. Now on the right side, you have a mapping possibility for other counselings. So uh, here you can select any counselling and click check all the allotments within that counselling. For instance, now only Kerala PG Medical has been allotted. So you will be able to see whether rank 12 in All India Quota has been allotted in Kerala PG Medical Counselling. So here, you, if you look at it, you will see that the candidate has not been allotted in Kerala PG Medical Council. As further counseling results are published, we will update the counseling data and then this will be populated. In case rank 12 moves on to another counseling, uh, is allotted a seat in another counseling, that will be published. Note that this is only allotted information and not admitted information. Not all states uh, share admitted information. When they share the admitted information, we will add on that uh, for all India. But for states, we may not be able to add that. 
unless they share it. Now, as of now, what we have is allotments in one counseling versus allotments in another counseling. So you see a blank page here. So that uh, you can, uh, for as far as Kerala is concerned, none of the candidates have been allotted except candidate in the in the in the first uh, seventy five ranks. You see that candidates ranked thirty nine in all India, who is also ranked four in Kerala, has been allotted a radio diagnosis seat in Government Medical College Kolikod in Kerala. Now through better options, the candidate has been allotted a medical radio diagnosis seat in Kerala Medical College Trivandrum. Kerala. This is out of the candidate's choices. What does this mean? It is highly likely that the candidate is, will not be joining this seat or moving on to this seat. This is because the Kerala choice filling happened after the All India allotments. Uh, in case there is a case, then this would happen. In some cases, the candidate may choose between one of these seats, but this will give you information on what seats are, uh, uh, what seats are, uh, what uh, the list of candidates in all uh, particular counseling and what seats they have been allotted in other counselings. Similarly, you have this candidate who has got a general medicine seat med uh, in um, a Toronto Medical College in round one, rank 74, who's ranked seven in the state and has got a general medicine seat in Kerala as well. Now, between one of these, the candidate is expected to choose. It is highly likely that the candidate will choose the state seat because it will uh, provide the candidate further options for state round two and join the seat, which means this seat may be vacant in All India Round 2. We'll have to wait for that choice. But at least it will give you an idea. So now since only one counselling is uh, published, you don't want, you just want to know whoever has been allotted, click on this, show empty, uh, remove the show empty rows uh, option. And then you will automatically see that, see all the seats, all the candidates of All India PG Medical Counseling Round 1 who have been allotted other seats as of now only Kerala seats. So which means you will be able to see the list of all seats which have been allotted in All India Round 1 and their possible better seats or equivalent seats in Kerala which gives you an idea of what seats may be vacant in All India Round 1. We are not assuring that it will be vacant because nobody can assure on which choice they will take. Usually since the choice filling of uh, state rounds happen after All India uh, allotment results are published this might be a possibility. It might be a possibility that for ma majority of the seats, the uh, the state seats are actually admit. The candidate gets admitted in the state seats, and the all India seats remain vacant. So you will see a lot of commonalities too, which is because the candidate uh, gets a better option when they hold a state round one seat uh, instead of holding an all India round one seat and getting locked in all India round one round two if they are not upgraded. So they, it is ideal that uh, it is most likely that the candidate will go start, join the state seat and the All India Round 1 seat uh, becomes vacant for All India Round 2. Now you can filter it down on, on any rank range, let's say, or any course. Let's say you're only interested in general surgery. You can just filter it down on general surgery in All India and you'll see what seats all general surgery candidates have been allotted over here. So you will see uh, that a general surgery candidate has been allotted orthopedics as well. You can use the filters in whatever way you want to uh, uh, select uh, these multiple options. Let's say here uh, you would like to select only uh, seats from a particular state. I am I am interested only in Delhi. I want to know how many general surgery candidates who have taken general surgery seats in Delhi or a particular institute. Let's say I am interested in Maulana Asa uh, or in Maulana Asa alone. How many candidates have been allotted as of now in the counselings that have been, uh, the results have been published in state counselings. You can also click on the counselling, if, if you are interested only in Kerala counselling to be mapped against All India, you can filter on that as well. When multiple counselling results are uploaded, you will see all the counsellings here. You can select a particular counselling and see your, your interested counsellings mapping against uh, the other counselling. The same can be done other way, the other way too. You can also go back, select Kerala PG Medical and see how many candidates have been allotted in Kerala PG Medical, this is the entire Kerala PG Medical allotments. You can see it against All India PG Medical counselling and it will be the same number obviously. Now that only one counselling to one counselling mapping is done, once all the states are done, you will be able to map any counselling to any counselling and see for that particular counselling allotments, what all seats have been allotted across India in the other counsellings. This will be available for all published data, whichever state publishes data, you will be able to map all uh, along with the All India Rack, you will be, we will be able to add this and help you with the mapping. This will especially help during round two and especially when you're looking at a rank range. Let us say you're looking at a rank range of all India rank range of 2000 to 2500 to see what all may be possible. You will be able to filter it out across on both sides and see uh, and uh, know that one of these seats might become a vacancy because only a candidate can be uh, can ultimately go hold only one seat at a time. Hope this helps. This is an additional feature that uh, we come up with every year. Uh, the 
uh, possibility of getting this feature depends on the published results and whether they share the all India ranks. Most states would share. And so we expect that we'll be able to add this on for most states. I hope this helps and uh, please do uh, at the time of round two or any decisions, you will be able to see every mapping across India and that is the intention behind the entire thing. All the best for your counseling, take right decisions and especially if you're going to join All India round one seat and intend to resign it for a state round one seat, wait for notifications from MCC. There's been some confusion. Wait for notifications, whether it is possible or not, MCC has to notify so that there is clarity. Wait for that and then take over. Thank you for watching. Do share it with others if they are interested. Uh, this feature obviously uh, will be helpful during the second round, especially for taking questions. All the best.